In this video, you're gonna learn about five of the best free CapCut tools that you can be using for your videos and video editing. And we're not gonna mess around, we're just gonna get right into it. Let's go. The first tool is going to be keyframes. Keyframes is a way for you to actually zoom in, zoom out, manipulate the camera movement that you have in your videos without actually needing to have any actual camera movement. So for example, if I was recording with my phone and I just kept my phone right here the entire time, when I'm editing, I can make it seem as though I have camera movement that looks like this, that looks like this, all kinds of ways. I can do anything I want when I'm using keyframes. So how do you use keyframes within CapCut? The first thing you wanna do is open up CapCut and start a project. This is a project, as you can see, for this bag that I made a video for. Now to use keyframes, it's actually very simple. If we highlight whatever clip we're gonna use keyframes on, well, as soon as we highlight it, if we look right below the video, but above the timeline, we're going to see a diamond. That diamond is the symbol for keyframes within CapCut. So if we want to add a keyframe, all we have to do is tap on that diamond. And then if we look on our timeline, we see that there is a red diamond on the timeline. That is That means that we are over the keyframe. That's the first keyframe that's added to our video. Now, if we scroll further along, to make keyframes work, you need at least two of them. So if we just move further along, just about halfway through this clip, I'm going to want to add another keyframe. And to do that, again, you're going to press the same diamond button. Now, if we look at the timeline, once again, you see that there is a diamond there that is currently highlighted red. Now, to get the type of movement that you want, you have to understand how the keyframes work. The first keyframe is telling CapCut, this is where I want whatever type of camera movement you wanna to simulate to start. And then the second one is telling CapCut, this is where I want that movement to end. So if we do something simple, like we wanna zoom into this bag, if I just pinch and zoom in on this bag, and I come back to the first keyframe, and then I press play, you will see that there is a steady zoom in until it reaches the second keyframe. So if I press play, you see that it's automatically zooming in until it reaches that second keyframe. Now let's say we wanted to zoom back out instead of zooming all the way in and keeping the frame zoomed in. So what I would do, I would come back further along down this timeline, I would add a third keyframe. And as you can see, now we have three keyframes. I'm gonna come to this last keyframe and I'm gonna zoom back out real quick, all the way back out. Now if I come to the first keyframe again, then I press play, you're gonna see that it's going to zoom in, then zoom out. And as we know, the first keyframe tells CapCut, this is where I want that movement to start. Now the second one is telling CapCut, this is where I want that first movement to stop, and that second movement to start. And then that third one is telling CapCut, this is where I want that second movement to end. So if we press play, you see that it's going to zoom in until we reach that second keyframe, and then it's going to start zooming back out until we reach that last keyframe. That is a great free tool. You can use that to manipulate your videos on a ton of different ways. So make sure that you're using this free tool when you can to enhance your videos just that much more. The single best free CapCut tool that you can be using is transitions or animations. So if we have our clip back inside CapCut highlighted again, if we come to the bottom, you'll see a button called animations. So if we tap on animations, you see it, they're loading up and we have three different types of combinations. We have an in animation, meaning that's how the clip is going to come into the video. That's how this scene that is highlighted is going to enter the video. Then you have out animations, which means that's how the that's how the current frame is going to exit the video. And then you have combinations, which are in and out transitions. Now, when it comes to CapCut, you see there's a lot of pro features on this, a lot of pro animations, but there's also a lot of free animations that are really cool that you can be using as well. So for example, we can add uh, the Zoom 2 one right here. If we press on that and we press on the check mark and we come to the beginning and we press play, you see it's, it's a quick animation, a quick transition, but we press it, it's very quick. Now, if we want to do transitions between scenes, we make sure that we have nothing highlighted. But if you see that between these two scenes on my timeline, 
there is a little white square. If I wanna add in a transition into that, all I have to do is tap on that, and then you see the transitions pop up themselves. And again, you're gonna have a lot of different transitions to choose from. A lot of them are gonna be pro features, but you, again, you have a lot of free transitions that you can be using as well. So if we just scroll and we find something that we might like, I always like something that's whoosh, so I like that. So if we come and press on that whoosh transition, then we press the check mark, and we come back between these scenes. So I'm gonna press on the play button, and you're gonna see the whoosh transition happen. And there it is. That's a really cool transition if you ask me. Now, again, there's a lot of pro features, a lot of paid transitions that you can use, but if you don't wanna pay for the pro feature of CapCut, this free feature, there's still a ton of different free ones that you can be using to help enhance your videos and take them to that next level. The next free tool that we're gonna talk about are these filters. Filters are something that can really change the entire look of your video if you want to choose to use them. Now, I don't always recommend to use filters because it can be very easy to go crazy with them and when you use filters too much, that's when it starts to take away from the video and you don't want anything to actually take away from your video and the actual content that you're trying to produce. So how do you use filters within CapCut? Again, we come to our CapCut app, we have our clip highlighted that we want to add a, fi uh, add a filter on, then we come to the bottom of the screen, we scroll until we see filters. So we see filters down here, we press on that, and then you have a bunch of different filters that show up. Again, just like the transitions, you have a lot of pro filters that you can use, but because we're talking about the free tools that you can use, you are gonna have to find a free one. Now, I personally like black and white a lot, so this first free feature that I see is going to be BW3, that is black and white. So if I press on that, and you see that it's automatically added to that clip. Now, if I just don't wanna adjust it at all, I leave it, then I can press the check mark. But you can adjust filters when you add them to your videos. And to adjust them, you see at the bottom of the screen, we have this bar. If I wanna make it more intense, make it more black and white, I can do that. If I wanna make it basically non-existent, I can drag it all the way to zero. But you have the freedom to adjust every filter that you choose on your videos. So when it comes to adjusting filters, again, that's something that you can get carried away with. So be very careful when you're using filters not to get too carried away. But when you're happy with where you've adjusted that filter, all you have to do is press the check mark and then that filter will be applied to the clip that you have selected. Now, if you want to apply a filter to the entire video, but you have multiple clips, all you have to do is make sure that the clip is not highlighted and you come to the bottom, you'll be able to see the filters option. So you press on filters and then you can do the same exact thing. You find the filter that you want to have, you press on it, and then it's going to add it to all of them. So again, we make the adjustment to how we want the filter to be. We press on the check mark and you see at, on the timeline it's adjusted, but it's just to this first clip. What we're going to want to do, we're going to want to press and hold at the end of this and extend it all the way into the end of this video. And then you'll see when I scroll through it backwards, it's applied to every single piece, every single clip that is in this video. So as you see, that black and white filter is applied through for every clip that's on this timeline. And that's how you can apply a filter to one clip or you can apply a filter to the entire video that you're creating. Again, just something that's going to enhance your videos, but it's also something you need to be careful of because you don't wanna take away too much from what you're trying to show off to your audience. The next free tool is going to be sound effects. Sound effects is something that enhances any video that is out there. It doesn't matter what type of video it is. Sound effects, when used right, or is going to enhance that video greatly. So that's something that you want to start implementing in every video that you do. So how do we do that with NCapCut? First thing we do, we come to our project and we make sure that nothing is highlighted. That's step one. Step two, we come to the bottom of the screen, we see audio and what we want to do, we want to press on audio and then we see a little bit over to the right, we see sound effects. All we have to do is press on sound effects and then you have 
almost an endless amount of different types of sound effects that you can be using. Now, if you have a specific sound that you want to use, a specific sound in your head that you want to use in your video, then you can easily search that. So I can do that and I can type in whoosh, a uh, whoosh. And then I, oh, it says whoosh. I can type whoosh and then I type whoosh sound. And now I can explore the different types of sounds that fall under that search. So if I press on this first one, and then I press on the second one, then again, you can just keep searching through all of these and listening to them until you find one that you like. When you find one that you like, all you have to do is press on the plus sign on the right side of the screen, you press the plus sign, and then that sound is automatically added to your timeline. And what you're gonna wanna do, you're gonna wanna make any adjustment that you want. You can just move it around to the spot that you wanna have it. So if you wanna have it between scenes to enhance that transition just a little bit more, you can do that. So see, you add it in between, in between scenes, it just enhances that scene just a little bit more. And again, this is something that you can do throughout the entire video, something you should do throughout the entire video, and it's a free tool to use within CapCut. It's something that not a lot of people think to add right away, but once you actually do start implementing this, you'll be surprised at how much more attention your videos start to get. The fifth and final free tool that you're gonna wanna be using inside of CapCut is audio effects. That means that you can change voices that appear in your content. So let's say for example, you're doing one of those interviews where somebody wants to remain anonymous. You can very easily change their voice and how they sound. And it's gonna be very unrecognizable to anybody that doesn't know who is actually talking. So how do you do this with NCAPCUT? I have this project open. Uh, as you can see, it's just a, a regular video that I made for another brand. I am talking throughout this entire video. And as you can see, I'm playing two different characters if I scroll through it. I just go back and forth with myself. So, one way I could enhance this video a little bit more is to change the voice of one of the characters. And if I want to do that, all I have to do is highlight the clip that I want to change the voice in, come to the bottom of the screen, scroll all the way to the right, all the way to the side, and you see audio effects. If I press on audio effects, you see I have original, you still have pro features, but you have a lot of different ones that you can use as well. So if I just put vinyl, hey, welcome to our and you hear how it's changed. You saw, you hear the difference in the voice. And if we just play that, hey, welcome to our dealership. And then we listen to the other voice that I have. There you go. That's my normal voice. This is the an audio effect voice. Dealership. Hey, I'm looking to sell my car. There is a difference. Now, some of the effects may not be as effective as you might like them to be, but again, using these effects really does enhance the videos in certain aspects when you use it correctly. And as you can see that adding these effects is extremely easy to do, and you don't really need to do anything else to really adjust these audio effects. If you wanted to adjust the audio effect, I could go back to the audio and I could, see when you see the when with your selection you have this little menu so if i tap on that again you see the strength and the noise i can adjust the strength of that audio effect and the noise that is within that audio effect as well and that makes small tweaks to the audio effect that you have applied to your clips and there you have it those are five free tools that you can be using within CapCut to help make your videos that much better. Now, if this was a video that you enjoyed, if you learned anything from this video, be sure to leave a like. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, be sure to leave a comment below. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to hit that subscribe button because I love making these videos for you and I don't want you to miss out on anything that I'm trying to teach you. But other than that, that's all I got for you. My name's Steven. I'll be sure to catch you in the next one. Peace.